What's up guys, it's D-Man 10 here, and today, just showing you a uh, before shot of uh, my 2010 uh, MacBook Pro, uh, before I put the DDR3 uh, Crucial 8GB RAM uh, in my computer here, I am taking this with my iPhone, sorry about that, but it's just easier to go off my phone, uh, I got everything closed here. And uh, everything should be good here. It's kind of hard to do, but um, I just want to show you a couple applications uh, to open. I'm gonna couple do a couple uh, light ones and a couple heavy ones. And what I mean about light and heavy is big programs like Final Cut Pro and iMovie take a little while to open. Then other ones like like the internet browser and other stuff take don't take as much time. So um, first, I'm gonna start off here with uh, Google Chrome. Just gonna click on that once. You got two bounces and it's open. But then once it's open, you click it, and I think it just does one bounce. Yeah. So that is Google Chrome. Uh, I'm gonna do iTunes. iTunes two, three. So three bounces on iTunes. Uh, App Store, App Store takes a pretty long time, one bounce, and then, so let's say that's about three bounces with the internet's ready to load. Uh, now with this, open up some heavy programs, like Final Cut Pro, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 27 bounces and a buffer. Uh, obviously, Final Cut Pro just came out, so it's really not meant for my computer, especially with only 4 gigs installed. I mean, it does the job of editing, and it's a great editing tool. Um, just a factor of it takes a long time to export a video. Not as long as I will be, surprisingly, but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to quit Final Cut Pro here. See, it takes a long time to quit, too. There's a lot of things open at once. Uh, but obviously I do export 720p and 1080p, so... Uh, now, like, integrated program, like QuickTime. QuickTime's already open, so that's always quick. Uh, now, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to launch a bunch of applications at once. So, I'm going to go into Finder, and over here, I'm going to go into Applications. And, I guess let's just take, like, the first, say, two rows. So these are pretty, one heavy program and a couple light programs. I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, well, let me do that. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll just do it down the line on my dock. Okay. So you can see here. I just make this fair. Quit Chrome. And let's go do that. So down the line. Everything's loading up here, Twitter, Word, Skype, got some emails coming in, okay, so font cuts open, Skype and Word are loading, Word's loading now, so yeah, as you can see, um, the Mac is still great, uh, stock with stock RAM, uh, just gonna do a command Q here. Command Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. It's just uh with the stock uh how do I say this? With the stock uh build to the computer. It is relatively fast, and it still is blazing fast. I used to have a Windows computer that was terribly slow, 
Like, I felt like you could just put a Ferris wheel or, not Ferris wheel, a hamster wheel. Just have your hamster run on that to make it freaking run. It was terrible. Even the internet, I had a good internet connection at the time. And it's just, it takes so long. Um, I'll show you my specs real quick. About this Mac. 10.7.1 is my firmware version. Uh, focus, focus, there we go, uh, 2.4 gigahertz until Core 2.2.0, uh, 4 gigs of 10.67 megahertz DDR3 RAM, uh, more info I guess I can do also, this computer is 2.4 gigahertz until Core Duo processor, which I said, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 320M, 256 megabytes, graphics card, my serial number, so you can steal my shit, and that's about it. So, uh, this is the mid-2010 model, by the way, it's a and, yeah, so, pretty cool stuff, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the video. Now we're going to switch to uh, the installation uh, part of the video. Um, I think it's going to be a separate video from this one of the installation of the DDR3 memory, 8 gigabytes. Uh, and then from there, I'll do the after and see how quick it is, the speed comparison test. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm just going to end the video here with the final restart show you how fast this computer is so with everything quit down here everything's off so we're going to do a quick restart three two one go wait three two one go all right so we're restarting here line is actually relatively fast uh with restarts Sixty. Okay, so like a minute and eighteen seconds, it got to the login screen, and from obviously the login screen, it's automatically loaded. So that's not too bad. I mean, um. It's obviously going to get a lot better uh, with this new RAM chip. So I'm excited about that. And also, uh, I just wanted to say again, thank you guys uh, for freaking tripling my subscriptions lately. It's really helped me out. Uh, didn't want to sound like a sellout, but the check I'm about to receive from Google uh, will actually help me towards giveaways and uh, new equipment. So I'll be getting probably... Uh, my goal is to get a new HD camera, uh, but that's going to take a long time, uh, unless you guys subscribe and stuff like that, like my videos, but uh, yeah, it's definitely going to take some time. Uh, the little things I, would, I do want to get are, uh, I'm thinking of doing a solid state drive, because I do have a terabyte hard drive over here, and uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first part of this video, and uh, let's cut to the next video. Alright guys, so here's after. 
I just installed the uh, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, I'll just show you this about this Mac and right here you can see I have it in here um, what I noticed first was usually when you install new hardware to uh, to a computer it does take a little longer to load to like uh, start up once I got to the lock screen everything loaded so quickly compared to what I used to have um, that was one thing I did notice. Uh, another thing I did notice is heavy applications are opening much quicker. So you can see like right here, uh, let's quit this. I'll open up Final Cut Pro and it hardly does a couple bounces and it's open. As you can see in the before that you just saw, it took like 20 something bounces to get open. So that's really really cool and it helps so uh, another thing I did notice is uh, even the internet like when I load a page it just it's so quick so I'll open up YouTube it was a lot quicker and it's a lot smoother I understand like it's very choppy sometimes this is pretty cool now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to open up every, app, every application up here and that's going to be compared to what you just saw of how fast everything opens. So, ready, set, go. Obviously, I'm clicking as fast as I can, guys. So, so we're almost done here already. We're waiting for our final cut. That's it. And that's it. We're done. So, see how much quicker that is? It's it's crazy uh, how quick this is, and even when I go into force quit and I select all these applications, I'll just show you here, right here, force quit these, boom, just everything closes, very very quick. This is very nice and awesome tool. So uh, I and then now I'll show you. You'll cut this video. Will cut to what I. Uh, already filmed. Uh, this is me exporting a video on iMovie. And as you guys can see here, I am currently exporting a movie on iMovie. Uh, this is a installation video for the RAM. So you get a little sneak peek at it. That'll be after this video. So subscribe for that. Um, and usually usually took me like 45 minutes to an hour to export a uh, a project but this is actually going pretty quick I'm surprised so it's not gonna be 33 minutes it's saying 33 minutes but the bars you can actually watch the bar move across so I'm excited for that and I hope this RAM keeps up and it's good so yeah alright so how he's you've seen there that that's uh, that's a clip from iMovie uh, exporting a video that I made so much quicker and it, and it saves a lot of time for me and also it's going to be a good tool for the future because the future uh, I believe that the internet is going to be very very hard to run on a computer that only has four gigs of RAM so this is definitely a good buy if you're trying to keep your computer up to date it's not very expensive at all. It's a paycheck at work. It's not. It's not very. Uh, it's not a lot of money. So definitely worth it. Uh, so links down in the description for uh, my installation video, which is coming out. So stay tuned for that. And I also have links down in the description for you on uh, how to purchase the Crucial RAM and the screwdriver to open up your computer. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up down below. And uh, subscribe up above for more videos like this. See you in the next one.